Greetings everyone, welcome back to Top Tier Arcade, my name is Steve, and we're back in the apartment. In this game review and play, we're going to be checking out The Rumblefish 2, and uh, let's get right to it. It's the sequel to The Rumblefish 1, which we reviewed uh, last week, and it came out in the arcades March 2005, and they had Thomas Wave Hardware at Grin, made by Dims. Uh, the homebrew version is also available, like we spoke about last video, where someone has um, converted... The file, so you can play it on a, um, a modded Sega Dreamcast, which is cool. Um, Rumblefish 2 has more characters, more moves, better sprites, balanced gameplay, more techniques on the power gauge, and a new boost drive. So this is the one I often play. I have the unlocked uh, version, so it has all the unlocked characters. I think Greed and a few others are still there uh, that are unlocked, so I'm excited. I like this game a lot more. Because uh, it's really the same game as number one, and again, more variety, better gameplay. But let's jump in and play the Rumblefish 2. Two. All right, let's do it. Let's play the Rumblefish 2. A little louder this Welcome time. Welcome to the 6 FFS. I guess that's the tournament. So here's the character. I don't know why in the last video I called this guy Phoenix. I guess because his hair is blood, and this is who I choose. So in my last video, I was like, who the hell is Phoenix? I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Kaya, let's go quickly go through the characters. Again, sorry if it's a bit loud. Yeah, there's three. These are the hidden characters I'm, I'm assuming. So let me choose Lud. He's my guy. Music is cool. Again, this is the one I played more often. I kind of like the production in number one, like how the character, whatever, like select and all that, but whatever. As you can tell, the sprites are prettier. There's cool scaling, cool character models. Now the gauges have been changed a bit. So now they're split up. Watch this, Lud, you know why I like Lud? He has a really cool, he has a cool uh, projectile. So that's like an uppercut. God. Shit. Really cool projectiles. Yeah, the announcer in this one is different. It's a, it's a female. Where the other one, and if you haven't seen my number, part one of uh, Rumblefish. Oh, sick! Um, it sounds like the uh, announcer from Street Fighter Alpha. Which is uh, very interesting, yeah. Oh, I got a super, I think. Shit, how do I do it again? Ha! Nice pal job. I'm button mashing shit, I can't remember. Oh, here we go. Sick. Cool game, man.
Yeah, it's cool. They even have defeat defeat pictures in this one. Garnet. I wonder if like remember in the first one if you guys see it, Garnet her breast or whatever her blouse will open when you um like if there's like battle damage. Which is really cool. For all characters. And she has almost the identical sprite, so it'd probably be the exact same. She's still a pain in the ass. Oh, shit. Yeah, see, she has battle damage. Her blouse is open now. That's really cool. I haven't seen game battle damage in games in a long time. Like, can, remember Art of Fighting? They had battle damage there. Yeah, and their blouse is open. Scandalous. Get her, yeah! Good start. I love his projectile. Fuck, you do it. Yeah, so when you're when you do boots you just go in and then you do like a custom gun. Fuck. Yeah, see my battle damage? Now I'm getting ripped up. That's really cool. They should do that in more games. That's really neat. I really like that. Has a different variety, it's realistic. Yeah, right? And now her blast was open where if it wasn't then it'd be closed. It's neat. It's really cool how there's battle damage. Nah, he's an interesting character. Uh, and there's like a a porcupine or a skunk or something. Like that. Even has cool projectiles. He snaps his fingers like a gun. Uh, I'm wasting something. Ah. Oh. Did I get him? Yes, by like one hair. That's cheesy. <laughs> oh well. What the hell was that about? Oh, that's my defense. See, look, he gets mad now. Look at his eyes. His battle damage, he's all he's mashed up now. And his shirt's ripped and he has like tattoos. Really cool. No! Shit, way too far. 
stupid. <laughs> yeah, I got Oh, now I'm hot. Shit, I don't know how to activate it. Uh, I fucked up. Ah, got him. Couple hits. I'll win by time. No! Got him again. By time, that's bizarre. What a cool game, man. See, he's roughed up a bit too, I think. That's cool. Continue. Let's see the... Uh, end screen. Whatever. Game over. Thank you for your participation. I'm not going to start a, a new round. I just want to check one of the characters for a sec. Yeah, I think these are empty if you don't have them. They're hidden. 
I just want to check his character sprite because I tried him last time. I want to see if it's the same out of curiosity. Yaruka. Yeah, he's, he's different here. It actually looks a lot cool. He looks cooler in this one. Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same, pretty much the exact same gameplay. Just a little different uh, model. He looks a little different. But anyways, all right, let me uh, let me uh, end this here and I'll say my goodbyes. Well, everyone, there we have it. That was the Rumblefish 2 playing it on the Blast City. What do you guys think? I like it a lot better than the first one. It just everything is better about this one than the first one. The only thing I little like a little about the first one is the presentation and the production based on character select and whatever, but I mean, that's so minimal. But uh, like I said, if you guys haven't had a chance to play this, please do it. It's a sleeper hit. It's a great game. I would love to see this in tournaments. There's so much variety, cool character sprites, uh, looks beautiful. And it's again, an offbeat game that not everyone really knows about. But in uh, one that again, I wanna play with my cousins, learn better and then with my friends and family and the whole deal but if you guys haven't had a chance please subscribe a lot more coming out uh should be an interesting next next few weeks i might hear about uh some kind of cool news hopefully we'll see but uh yeah if you haven't had a chance again subscribe hope you guys are doing well the whole COVID thing and uh, we take it day by day thanks again for checking out top tier peace Hadouken!